This is how to set up your Wii DJ Hero turntable in Dolphin Emulator. Let's get started. Okay, so for the Wii turntable, there are two methods to get this to work. Method 1, which is the wireless method, aka the Wii Motes, and method 2 is the wired method, aka the Rafne adapter. We're going to start with the wireless method first, and we'll walk through the wired method later. So with that, let's start with the wireless method. Okay, so first of all, I will highly recommend you use the official Wii Remote, because attempting to do this with the third-party Wii Remote, well, high chances are it's not going to work. So we'll highly recommend to do this with the official Wii Remote. Okay, so once you've got your hands on the Wii Remote, you're going to open up Dolphin Emulator, then go to Controller Settings. Now, under Emulate the Wii's Bluetooth Adapter, you'll see Wii Remote 1 through 4. Now, on Wii Remote 1, you're going to click None or Emulate Wii Remote, and make sure Real Wii Remote is checked. Once you've done that, uh, you go a little down under Connect Wii Remotes for Emulated Controllers. You'll see Continuous Scanning. Make sure that is checked too. And after that, you're done with the Controller Settings tab, so you can just close it. Okay, so now go catch your Wii Remote. Next to the batteries, you'll see a red button. Hold the red button until the Wii Remote shakes and lights up player one if it does this it means it's hooked up to dolphin emulator and you're ready to go oh yeah and make sure bluetooth is enabled as well on your computer otherwise this won't work but what if you don't have a bluetooth adapter on your computer what can you do well if you happen to have a dolphin bar lying around you can use that to work on dolphin emulator here's how Now, in your dolphin bar, make sure the mode is set to 4. This mode will hook up your Wiimote to the dolphin emulator. Once mode is set to 4, you can just now press the sync button. And on your Wiimote, you just press the sync button. And after that, it will just connect it to the dolphin bar and the dolphin emulator. Okay, and now the last step you need to do is just simply connect the Wii Remote to the DJ Hero turntable. And after that, you're now ready to play. So just load up DJ Hero 2 and Dolphin Emulator and play the game. Okay, so the wireless method is finished. So for y'all Raffinit adapter users, here's how you set up the wired method. Okay, so before you open up Dolphin Emulator, you're going to need a specific tool before opening up Dolphin Emulator, which is the Rafnet Adapter Management Tool. Okay, so once you've opened up the Adapter Manager, you're going to click on this box and select the adapter you just plugged in. Now down here next to Paul Interval, you're going to click on this box and set and set the number to 10. This will help a lot with the scratching in DJ Hero. So once you've set the number to 10 on this box, you can just simply close the adapter manager. Okay, so in the Dolphin emulator, you're going to go to controller settings. Next to Wii Remote 1, you're going to click on emulated Wii Remote. Just make sure this is selected. Now click on Configure. Now, to make our life way easier and not bind every single button you see here, well, in the link of the description of the video, I've put it a specific profile which will load all the binds for the DJ Hero turntable as you can see here. 
and uh, I'll show you how to put it in the Dolphin emulator. So once you've downloaded the uh, profile, you're going to want to move it to here. So you just got to go to this directory. Uh, you put in the profile and you're pretty much done. So you can exit out of the file explorer. You click on this arrow here, Raftnet table, and then load. And then this will load all the binds you see here. And, uh, and that's about it. So you can just close all that out and you're ready to play. So just simply hook up your Raftnet adapter to the Wii turntable. And that's basically about it, so yeah. Okay, now if you have any questions or have technical difficulties setting this up, I highly recommend you join the DG Hero fan server on Discord since they'll basically help you out with almost anything DG Hero related. So if you have any problems or questions, just join their server. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap up for this video, so if you like this tutorial, feel free to give it a like and a sub. With all that, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.